Hello, this is another cactus. This is our silver or golden choya. So depending on the color of the spines, some individuals are gold, like this one. Some are silverish, some are kind of in a mix of the two. So we've had a lot of choyas. Remember, uh, they used to be just opuntia, but now they're cylindro opuntia. This one is cylindro opuntia echinocarpa. Echinocarpa means spiny fruit. Echino is spines and then carpa is fruit. So spiny fruited cylindro opuntia or cylindro pucha echinocarpa or the golden choya. It's in the cactus family, of course. Um, let's look, look at the spines real quick. Very different from the pencil choya. Let me go over here and show you the two together. So, again, here is your silver choya. Look at those big spines. And the joints are kind of chunky. Compared to a pencil choya, this particular pencil choya is practically spineless and very much different. Okay. So the silver choya, here's a dead silver choya, silver or gold choya, excuse me, whichever one, this is what they look like. So we're going to call that a cactus. It's pretty uncommon, even though it's common in the wild, most people don't grow it, usually because they're scared of it, <laughs> because of the spines. It does have yellow flowers um, in the later in the spring. I don't see any buds on this one. All right, choya. You can actually eat a part of this plant. So the flower buds, when they're green, before they open, they're very spiny, but they're a very high source of calcium. And the Native Americans would harvest the flower buds and roast them, burn off all the spines, and eat them. In fact, they have more calcium than milk. The flowers, again, very rich in calcium, more calcium than in milk. So the Native Americans would eat the flower buds before they open. No medicinal values. Wildlife value, you, it's a lot of birds like choyas. They live inside of them. I don't know if you could see this nest right here. This awesome little nest. See that cool little nest? I don't know if anybody's home, but that is the nest of a cactus wren. That's Greg in the background, but that's cactus wren nest. So a lot of little birds build nests in them and then pack rats will steal the little branches and line their nests because of protection obviously in the landscape you got to be very careful where you're putting these because they're very very spiny they're very mean their spines are barbed so they're hard to pull out and they drop a lot of these see those things on the ground those little round guys little spines all over the ground that's why they're called jumping choyas because they drop their branches on the ground and they can get into your shoes, into your pants. Not fun. Your pets. So be careful when doing it. So in a landscape, really good in the desert, but just be careful with somewhere where it's not going to hurt anybody.